didn't really know how I was going to be perceived. Most of the time, people really, really embrace it, and they think it's really cool, and they're very nice, and they're very friendly, and one of the first things they say to me is, if there's anything we can do for you, please let us know. And I think that was the thing that shocked me the most, because I did not expect for people to be so friendly to me. It wasn't very common for an American female to be so immersed in something like Mexican football and I decided, you know, the more I got into it that I wanted to give uh, living in Mexico a try and I fell in love with it. I think maybe 50% of it was, um, was intentional and the other 50% was accidental. I didn't know that I would fall in love with living in this country as much as I have, but, you know, things happen. In America, we are a culture of convenience, and we have this incredible sense of urgency for things. Um, and here in Mexico, it's not so much like that. It's very, um, it's a little bit more more casual. It's more tranquil. It's kind of um, go with the flow and you roll with the punches because Mexico is not as privileged of a country as the United States is. It's, it's a humbling experience being here because it's very obvious that people here, you really value hard work and, and you get as much as you put into something. Being here in Mexico, it's changed me for the better. I mean, I, I feel like I have to work extra hard to, to have the things that I do and there's a lot to, to be said about that.